Hi guys, it's Brenda from Planty Pants. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel if you're watching my videos on a regular basis. I appreciate that. Um, Planty Pants is all about plants and all sorts of plant stuff. So today, in this video, I am going to do plant chores. Exciting plant chores. Um, I'm going to repot my Janet Craig Dracaena, which I cut and was propping in another video that I, that I made. And I'm going to be potting up some, um, some props that I have. And I am going to be cutting back my Monstera Dubia. So, without further ado, if this is your first time, um, please like and subscribe to my channel if, if plant stuff is your cup of tea. Um, but yeah, let's just get going. Okay, before I go any further, I just have to apologize from the bottom of my heart for last week's video. It was hot. Like today, it's 75 degrees in here. It's nice. Not really hot. Last week, it was in the 90s in this house. I don't know about you, but I live in Maine, and it doesn't get hot, hot, hot very many days, so I don't use air conditioners. We have a couple, but I don't like them. I prefer to have the windows open, fans. We have a lot of fans. I just want fresh air. I feel like air conditioning is cold and I work at a job where the air conditioning is on all day in the summertime and it's freezing. So I don't use air conditioning. So having said that, that's my excuse for having that fan and I had no idea it was as loud as it was. So please forgive me, please, please forgive me for that. The first thing I'm gonna do today, I think is pot up, um, some cuttings that I have. Now, I showed these last week in the video of the plant room tour. Actually, I don't think I showed you these two. This is my philodendron bipenifolium. And when I showed that in my plant room last week, I said that it had never been cut back. Well, that's a lie, because here are two props that I'm gonna be potting up today that I forgot I had in this jar, which is funny, because um, I love, love, love this plant. And the one in my uh, sunroom is doing so well so beautifully well. Um, and then also in here are some cuttings of a plant that I also showed you last week. And I will show you the mother plant right now. It is actually called, and I told you I couldn't remember what it was called. I literally couldn't find it last week. I couldn't even drop the, the name down in the, you know, the description. It's an Epipremnum amplissimum. Now, this plant is I got it years ago and the leaves are absolutely, they have like silver. I don't know if you can see this, but they have silver, um, gorgeous, almost like, oh my gosh, I don't even know how to describe it you guys, but there's silver hues, almost like silver stripes, but there's more than one. Someone had suggested maybe it was a silver stripe philodendron, which I do have, that only has like one stripe typically. So. This is the plant and she is doing amazingly well right now. I repotted her up a couple of weeks ago. Take that back, a couple of months ago. And so this is the mother plant. So I'm going to be propping up in these adorable pots that I found on Amazon. I have really been trying to go toward, I mean, in the past, I like to use glass vessels, but these are just great pots that are just clear plastic and they're pretty rugged. Um, I got them on Amazon, I'll put them in the description, but I am looking for bigger sizes of these. So if anyone knows where you can get, because I've looked everywhere, I can't find anything um, in this country. <laughs> so um, if anyone knows where I can get like the neck of six inch, eight inch, even 10 inch for like big, big moss pole plants, let me know. So I got these on Amazon, they're super cute. So I'm gonna bring you down here with me. All right, this is kind of a strange angle, but I think we can do this. All right, so I really don't like the way that looks. There we go. Okay, so I got my trusty soil right here, which has, oh my gosh, so much stuff in it, so much stuff in it, but it doesn't have a lot of soil in it. I'm really trying to get, get away from the soil for um, my different aeroids and epipremnums. So, 
First of all, let me just show you the root systems of these. I'm gonna open this up so it's not in the way. All right, so I got two pieces to um, two pieces to plant. There's one which the root system is amazing. Oops. And here's two. Let's see which the root system is amazing. So these uh, they're climbing plants. These epis um, ampl ampl Amplicismum, antiplicimum. I said it right that time. Antiplicimum. All right. Um, so I'm going to pop these up in this pot right here. So let's go at it. These are really, really cool plants. Um, when I bought this plant, you're not going to believe it, but I um, didn't know what it was. I just, it was just a hanging plant. It was literally a hanging climbing plant, and it had a whole bunch of different um, starts in it. And um, it got really big so that I had to um, cut it in half and make two pots. And I had them in my living room forever. Um, and then they started doing really poorly. So I cut cut it back and it, they sort of died. Um, and then I was left with, you know, with these pieces, which I feel like look, look amazing. I just love this plant. Look how pretty the leaves are. And it is a climber, so... Um, there are there are aerial root nodes, so maybe maybe I should try putting it on a moss pole. I might do that. So for right now, I am just I feel like I might have put a little bit too much in there. I did. Oop. I'm making a mess. Okay. So one's gonna go right here, and one is gonna go right here. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a background. I have been growing plants. I've always had a lot of house plants since I was a young woman. I'm not a young woman anymore. So I'm just holding these with my fingers, you guys. I feel like it works best for me. Um, and I've had so many different plants through the years. And I've, I've succeeded. I've failed. I have been propagating. I do not have any training. I always wanted to become a master gardener, um, and I still could do that with my um, my garden club that's in in my area. But I don't really. <clears throat> and plus, they have a um, they have a scholarship that I could I could probably do it for free. It's like I don't know, eight hundred bucks. But I haven't done it. Um, it's a little bit intimidating. Look how fast that potted up. So I'm really excited to see what the roots are going to do. That's one of the reasons why I love these clear pots. I'm gonna buy some more. They were cheap. I can't believe it. I'm buying 12 more ASAP. So this looks pretty good. All right, so there's one. And then here is my next pot. I'll put a little soil in there. I'm making a mess. Tell me the truth. Do we care when we make messes when we're potting up our beautiful plant babies and creating life? No. Okay. So now we have these. Look at the growth. They are both ready to go. The roots aren't very long, but I think it's ready. I think they're ready since they have, you know, auxiliary growth right there. So I am not gonna plant them that deep. So I'm gonna put some more soil in here. And a little bit more. That might be enough, let's see. Uh, hmm. Not sure how I feel about this. You know what, a little bit more. A little bit more and then I am going to Lay them down like this. Actually, I think I still might even do a little bit more. All right, so now I'm just gonna try to separate them like this, you guys. These are gonna end up on a moss pole. So I'm just trying to get them to root. Um, you know, in soil, so I can 
successfully put it on. Oh, dadgummit. Oh, I just hurt the little leaf. Sometimes I'm such a manhandler. You wouldn't think that for being this funny person that I'm like a bull in a china closet, but I totally am. I move way too fast. I do everything fast. Well, I totally buried that one. Well, you know what? Where is it? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. All right, you guys. This was kind of scary, actually. Ah! Sorry. Dadgum, I think I have to place it a little bit deeper. Or else it's not gonna, it's not gonna stay. Push it down pretty good. All right, that's what it looks like. Okay, philodendron by Penifolium. I get stuck on these words sometimes. Ta -da! All right, there's two. The next thing I'm gonna do. Repot my Dracaena. This is the pot I'm using. And I don't know why I have such a small scoop in here. I'm gonna fill this up almost like a third of the way full, like that. Okay, I showed you this last week. Remember when I cut this back a couple of months ago? That's all I spent is a couple of months. Look at those beautiful roots. Nice, right? All right. So, here's my pot. I'm bring you back down with me again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just, I really love Dracaenas, you guys. I feel like they're underrated um, because, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take these two leaves off because they're going to die anyway, and they are, you can see this, they're like down below where most of the roots are, so I'm removing these. So that it and this one, so that it exposes these gorgeous roots, and this one. So they are going to go in this pot side by side, and God willing, they will become healthy sisters in one pot. All right, I'm going to kind of put them on the edge of the pot. Oh boy, how am I gonna do this? All right, so I'm gonna hold them at the top. I hope you can see this. I'm gonna bring you back down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I am trying to put them as close to the sides of the pot as I can because of, damn it, because of, um, because of how, you know, I want them to, to not be totally crowded. Push that root down. All right, so anyways, as I was saying, I got sidetracked. I really, I'm not a pro. I learned about gardening and, well, I have a big garden outside, but I have books and, you know, about plants and how to care for them. And um, I've just, through the last few years, I've been getting a lot um, more conscious about how I take care of them. I'm going to push some of this on this side. got to be some over there. Um, and the thing is, I think I told you before, the more, the, more, the more time and energy you put into taking care of your plants, learning about your plants, the more successful you're going to be at growing them. That's truly how I feel. Um, because I've killed so many plants, and I think what I'm gonna start doing is taking a little video of every time I kill a plant, and, and when I have to like take take what I can salvage, and then throw the rest rest away because it really sucks. But that happens. That's just the way it is. And um, wow, I'm really excited about this plant. Looks great. I think it's gonna be fantastic in here. All right, so this is my new Janet Craig. And I'm actually gonna put her right back over in that spot where she used to be when I showed you before and the stem was like this long with no leaves and it was going woo, two of them. Um, well, no, it was one stem and two plants growing. I'll drop a picture right here for you. Um, anyway, ta-da! All right, 
Last but not least, what I'm gonna do today, it's really scary, but I've done some research, you guys, and I have a Monstera Dubia on a moss pole, and I'll show it to you right now because you've seen it before. And um, I put it on a moss pole months ago. This is the leaf that I got when I, I don't know what I paid for it, but it was just for one leaf. And I couldn't believe that it grew because it was ridiculous how tiny the stem was with the node. My hands are gross now, sorry. So um, I wanted it to grow up a pole, so I put it here, and as you can see, there's a little leaf. I'm gonna bring this right in, hopefully you can see it. There's a little leaf right here, right there. And there's a little leaf right there. And then it started growing a little bit bigger leaves, and then now I've got these big, beautiful leaves, right? And of course, you know, it's outgrown it now. So um, what I did was I put paper clips right here, thinking that those leaves would get bigger if I pushed them closer to the moss pole, but the fact of the matter is, is that that did not happen. Not even remotely. The, it didn't root any better. The, the leaves are still teeny, and um, that's just the way it is. So what I'm gonna do, and I did, a, I did some research this morning trying to find how to remove plants safely from a moss pole. So you go ahead and do a Google search and tell me what you find, and the answer is nothing. There's no one that's telling you because I really want to take it off. My idea was to cut this back and then remove this piece and start over again. But you know what? I can't. It's, it's not going to happen. So, because this portion is really nicely adhered and I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know. So what I'm going to do is take this cute little pot, which is adorable. It's actually, you know, like a little hot house. You can even close it all the way if you want. It's super cute. Another Amazon purchase. Once again, clear. Um, I'll drop a link in so you can see where I got these two on Amazon. So what I'm gonna do is, at this point, just because I have to, I guess, is it's just gonna keep growing and the leaves are, as you can see, the leaves are getting you know small. So what I'm gonna do is prop up the, these top pieces. I'm gonna cut it like way at the top here, right there. And I'm gonna prop up pieces and put them in another pot so that um, this will be a fuller plant on a moss pole. That's my, that's my plan. So, clean scissors. I am going to, let me see if I can bring it right closer so you can see this. I am going to cut it right, literally. <gasps> I cut, I feel like I cut off part of the leaf. No, I didn't. Okay. So I'm just going to put this over here. Bring you back to me. So this is what I have now. This top piece of Monstera dubia, which is a really beautiful plant. And um, you can get it to shingle and the leaves get really big and gorgeous. I mean, I, I really have, I would like to succeed at this. So what I'm gonna do is look for nodes. Yeah, everywhere, there's aerial roots pretty much behind every leaf. So I am going to just cut. I think this one I'm gonna leave like this. Cut. Dropped it. Sorry. Okay. This piece. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one in half. Okay, so what I have now are One, two, three, four, and then the top piece. I'm gonna prop these up in here with sphagnum moss. 
So, without further ado, I just want to have sphagnum moss. Unfortunately, what I have for moss now is a long stem moss, and I'm really sad about that. Super sad about that. First of all, look, there's a leaf in there. I'm having a heck of a hard time finding moss, you guys. Oh my gosh, there's another leaf. What the heck? Yeah, but you know, at least it's moss. Pretty good looking moss, but long stem nonetheless. All right, so here we go. Put some moss in here. Just try to get rid of the long stems because I really don't want them in there. Um, you guys pull them out. Boy, I'm not very happy with this moss. Dang it. All right, so here we go, right? And I am simply going, actually, I think I'm going to do a little bit more. So I'm going to pull this stuff out before I put it in there. Like that. And. I'm just gonna lay them on top like that. See if I can get them to root. Actually, this one I think I might bury a little bit because it's. So, as a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do here is just put a little bit more moss on the top maybe a little bit so that I know that they're going to be you know yeah I'm doing that you guys I'm kind of I'm kind of semi burying them because I really want to succeed here because I've got dubia plants <laughs> I have dubious dubia plants <laughs> just kidding all right there we go this is gonna go in my Ikea greenhouse cabinet. And yeah, all right. So that's pretty much my video for today for you. I actually did a lot of chores with you. So thank you so much for joining me. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please take the time to do so. It would really help me out a lot. And like this video and click on notifications. I try to do a video every week, but sometimes I fail. So this morning when I was doing my hair, I discovered that I have a completely white curl, although it's not really much of a curl today, but this is really like all white hair. So I'm getting old. Um, yeah, so. Thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. I mean, you know, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I subscribe to a lot of channels and I am really grateful for you taking the time. You know, it's sort of like you're watching television and who am I to have a little television station? But I have a YouTube channel and you're watching and I appreciate that. So until next time, please take care of yourselves, be kind to one another, and let me see if I can find my... <laughs> Sorry. God bless you, every single one of you.